my name is Kristen Sierra Washington. I am newly elected councilwoman for District 3 in Greenville, Texas. The first African-American and African-American female to win a predominantly white community. Anybody that's looking on this, on any social media platform, it's gonna go on YouTube first, but you know, we live in the age of information and black women, women in general, have to overcome a lot of adversities. If there's any women, young, old, black, green, blue, that wants to run for political office, what would you tell them or what advice would you give them? I would tell them, don't count yourself out. Um, don't think you have to have this big, massive team to do what you want to do. God gave you a vision that only you and God will understand. He didn't give your vision for your life to you, your mama, your best friend, your brother, and the community. He gave it to you so that you can fulfill what he's given you. Um, don't give up. It's going to be hard. People are going, you're going to lose friends. You're going to gain friends. You're going to gain enemies. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, nobody can push you better than you. And if I wasn't raised to be a strong person, no matter what, I would have given up, but I put my application in for city council. But I surround myself with positive people. I surround myself with people who know, I think outside the box on everything. I don't, don't put people in your corner that's gonna always say, girl, you can do that. Yeah, go ahead and do it because somebody know you can't do it, but they're not gonna tell you. So believe in you. Um, don't rely on nobody else to do anything that God has given you and take that leap of faith. If you are uncomfortable, you're supposed to be there. When you are made and put in a position that you are very, very, very uncomfortable, you are meant to be there. If you want to run for city council and you feel at home doing that, that's not your calling. Your, your calling is not for the community, that's for you. But if you want to run for city council or any leadership position in your community and you feel uncomfortable as hell every day, that's your calling. That's where you're supposed to be at. How did you deal with your emotions on the night of your win? Okay, I didn't. Um, so the elections was November the 3rd. I got a text message that evening about 8 o'clock that said they're still counting. And then they wait until 10 o'clock at night. We're still counting. It went until the next day. I'm sorry, Kristen, we're still counting. We're waiting on more votes to come in. So I literally cut off TV. I cut off my phone, I cut off everything and I left. If you are in my favorites, you can get through to me. Um, I didn't want, I really didn't want to know that I won um, because I had already psyched myself out that, girl, you ain't gonna win this community. They don't know you, you black, they don't care, you, you didn't win. And when I got that text message and that call at 5.15 in the morning on November the 5th that I actually won and I didn't win by a little bit. I won by a lot. Um, I cried and the first person I called was Jamie and she was asleep and I called my mom and they're like, what's wrong? What's happening? And I'm like, my exact words was, mom, let me tell you about this election. And she's like, girl, you up this early stressing? And I was like, no, nah, I won. And to hear my parents scream and yell in the phone, um, that let me know that I've, I've made an impact already because in the 90s, my dad ran for council and lost. And my dad gave up. This, it doesn't make no sense for me to do anything else for the city. I'll just keep working. And I kept saying, you supposed to do something. And so when I won and I told them and I heard in their voice how excited they were. And then to call my great grandmother who was 90 and tell her, Mimi, I won. And she cried and she said, you won this, next is the White House. Oh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's actually very touching. Um, Shout out to your grand grandmother. How does it feel being the first black woman mm -hmm. and the youngest Greenville City Council member ever? It's overwhelming at times. Um, and I say that because when people see me, I forget now that I have the title of councilwoman. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, Kristen, you did it. You're councilwoman now. Girl, you the first. And then I black out after that because I, I don't want to hear, keep hearing I'm the first because when I fail, I don't fail me. I fail everybody who tried before me. 
I fail my kids, I fail the community. So I block out and people say, you're the first African American to run and win a predominantly white community. I'm just like, oh, okay. And I go off, but then when I get home, I'm calling Jamie like, Jamie, I'm the first. And she's like, okay, and your point is what? We got work to do. Hey, if you want to hear more from Oro Nation, please make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. But don't just stop there. When you see the little bell notification, make sure you click on that and you will receive all the notifications whenever they post anything, whether it's a video, a conversation, something fun. You want to make sure that you have the notifications turned on for this channel because it's something you don't want to miss.